Heck yeah, Rob. I didn't know you were friends with Bobby Duncan Jr. either. I didn't know that. One of my best bros. He was one of those dudes that would stay at my house when he was in town and shit. Uh, good guy. Good guy. Yeah, that was that hurt really bad. One day uh, he, he he called and, and, and I could just tell he was so fucked up, you know. Um, and he was like, damn, damn. he goes, we got to be careful. He goes, Albright just died. Talking about Gary Albright. He was in our clique in Japan. I go, I, I know, man, that sucks. He goes, we got to, we got to be careful, man. They're fucking trying to get us. And I was like, okay, okay Bobby, you be careful. Cause I could tell he was fucked up. Yeah. Last time, last time I talked to him. Wow. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Week or two later, it seems like he fucking, oh, dude. My gosh. I remember too. I was like, man, he just had a presence about him too on television and everything like that. And yeah. then like, it was just like, just obviously cut short. It's just, but definitely. Yeah. Something to very I much. Keep Bobby Duncan. I have some Bobby Duncan stories, but you know, the thing I met his son one time, we were in Austin, Texas, his son, Austin, uh, cause I know his daughter really well, mm -hmm. uh, Cassie, but Austin was coming to the arena. I was there at WWE, I believe. And he wanted to hear some stories about Bobby. And, you know, I, I got with him and I met with him. I couldn't think of one damn story that was appropriate to tell a kid. Oh, really? Yeah. I was just like, um, no, not that one. Uh, so, well, Bobby liked to drink a lot, you see. Uh, Oh, <laughs> he really liked to drink. <laughs> that was all I could do. I felt so bad, but every story oh, I could man. think of was like inappropriate. Yeah, we played fire pro wrestling in the van <laughs> together. I think so. I think I'm I'm almost positive that he did. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know that he had a character on there though, but um, he was in the Winnebago with us for sure. No shit. How about that? <laughs> Yeah, because he was in the Sabu clique. So. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Me, me and Sabu and Louis Spicoli were the the three that were the the mainstays that would ride with Sabu and his wife in the Winnebago. And then uh, Pee Wee, the referee. And then um, everyone else was like, cool, but another layer out, not necessarily in the clique, you know? Is that Pee Wee Anderson you're talking about? Uh, no, no. But John okay. Pee Wee Moore. John Pee Wee Moore. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I would just want to make sure. Okay. Wow. Yeah. See, I would have never if I somebody put those two names, RVD and Bobby Duncan Jr. I would have never. I would have thought you guys never crossed paths. That's yep. All Japan. All Japan. He came out uh, his first match in Japan. Uh, he wrestled Johnny Ace, and uh, Johnny broke his nose. And um, um, I, I don't know how in the daytime or the arena or whatever, I, I, I clicked with him somehow well enough for him to feel like knocking on my door in the middle of the night and waking me up at the hotel. And he came in and he's like, uh, he's like, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. And I was like, Oh, Bobby, I need some sleep. You know, come on, man, let's party. And he's drinking and, and, and he, he would sit down and then knock everything off of my uh, nightstand, the phone and everything, knock it all off. Oh shit. Spill his beer everywhere. And then he's, well, they, they broke my nose. I said, I, I know, man. He goes, hey, they, they can't stop me. They, they break my nose. They, they can break my back. I'm like, brother, I'm from Texas. You know, I'm not going to stop. There ain't no point. Man. Hey, man, let, come on, let's go. I was like, Bobby, can, you know, <laughs> go see if there's somebody else, man. I'm just going to, uh, finally he would give up and he, and, he, and he would leave. And then 15, 20 minutes later, he'd knock on the door and do the exact same thing again. It seemed like it happened four times in the first night. Everything. He would knock the phone and everything off every single time. Go through the same thing like deja vu. Come on, let's go, man. Let me go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me get some sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, cool, man. This has been a great episode. Uh, man, uh, it's been a fun one. 